Alright, hi guys, and welcome to another video on PlanSwift. Right, so to, uh, for today, we're going to be talking about uh, how do you transfer your data, right, uh, by moving your PlanSwift data from one computer to another computer. Alright, so the uh, we all know that the default storage location uh, of all your PlanSwift files and data is in your C drive. So you can see over here, this is the default location under Program Files x86 PlanSwift 10. Right, so once you're here, the first thing that you actually need to do, right, if you want to transfer the entire uh, project, right, every single thing onto a new computer, the easiest way is to actually go to your program files x86, look at this folder called PlanSwift 10. If you're using an older version, uh, it will reflect PlanSwift 9 and so on and so forth. Right, you just have to copy this, right, onto your portable hard drive, and then after when you bring it to the new computer, go to the same location under program files, right, and then paste it under program files there. All right, so once you install PlanSwift itself, PlanSwift will automatically actually link and route uh, the, the directory to that location, and then you'll be able to actually uh, access all your uh, all, all your files from there. All right, so now, what if, if you just want to back up your data? Right, so the data is actually found in just this folder called data. So if you want to back up just the data, you can copy this and then save it to any backup uh, where you want to. Right, if you are looking to find just the jobs and templates, right, you go into data and followed by storages, right, under local. Right, if you're using a network storage, uh, if, as we mentioned previously, you can go under this folder. If you're losing local, then this will be where all your jobs and templates are stored. All right, so each job itself will contain all the individual jobs uh, that you have really saved. All right, so this this uh, this method of transferring uh, your data from one computer to another is useful because you want to transfer multiple jobs right over to another computer. However, in the event that if you just want to transfer uh, a particular job, just one job, all right, you may want to consider this instead. Right, you may want to consider uh, from PlanSwift itself under the tools function at the top. Right, you will see these two buttons called zip, swift drop, and unzip swift drop. Right, so you can actually click swift uh, zip the swift drop. So what it will do is that it will just zip the entire job that you have currently open right into just one file, transfer it to that person, and they can actually unzip it in their uh, own copy of PlanSwift. Right, so I hope uh, this has helped you out. Right, uh, see you again for the next video.